those the most vulnerable taking it on the chin. These are the Indian construction workers seeing the effects uh, of the downturn of oil in the region's uh, uh, largest oil producer, Saudi Arabia. Uh, let's take a look at the eye-popping numbers. Some 10,000 workers uh, uh, impacted right across the country right now. We're getting direct reports from the west coast of Saudi Arabia and Jeddah uh, with reports that the living conditions are quote-unquote uh, appalling. But now we understand again that the food rations have dried out. So the Indian embassy, along with the local Indian community, have been providing uh, food, and they hope it'll last long enough, eight to ten days, for some of these workers to get their exit visas. It's a big question mark. And this is the harsh reality. We often talk about the lower oil price, Linda, going from $115 a barrel two years ago to 40 today it means that the big oil states with major projects for the last five years are cutting back severely. There's three million Indian expats working in Saudi Arabia right now. So we're talking about 10,000 workers. It could get much worse in the months ahead. Yeah, much worse. We're going to talk about that a lot more. John Defterius, uh, great to have you with us. And uh, as John mentioned, right. there are thousands of workers in Saudi Arabia have lost their jobs, many of them now struggling to pay for food. I want to welcome the Indian ambassador for Saudi Arabia, Ahmad Javed. He joins me on the line from the Saudi capital of Riyadh. Uh, as John was saying, a lot of uh, workers are affected in Saudi Arabia right now. Just give us an, a sense of the extent of the problem. How many Indian nationals are facing a food crisis in Saudi Arabia? Well, at present, uh, when it comes to the food issues, uh, we have uh, a little over 2,500 people in Jeddah in the Western Sea and 500 plus in the Eastern section. So that is where the food issue is at the moment, and we are uh, been supplying food to both these areas, uh, to all these workers, so that at least the humanita humanitarian angle is taken care of. Some of these workers haven't been paid for months. John mentioned as many as uh, seven, eight, possibly nine months that these people haven't been paid wages. Uh, could we see protests there? Well, it's a, well, as per record and as per reported widely, they haven't been paid salaries for seven, eight months. That's right. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this food issue only came up when the food supplies were, uh, were shut down a few days ago and a few weeks ago in some cases. And that is why we have stepped in. And uh, as I understand it, uh, some of these workers, or most of the workers, have to hand over their passports when they go to work in Saudi Arabia. Uh, so they can't even leave the country without being granted an exit visa. Uh, why, why do they have to hand over their passports to work there? Well, as per local laws, uh, uh, taking over the passport is not legal. And this is what all the authorities have also told us. Uh, but to leave um, uh, this country, apart from the passport, you need a valid exit visa. So there are two issues which get linked up, and we are working on, on that also to have the exit visas uh, as quickly as possible. And the Saudi authorities have assured us of all support on getting these visas as quickly as possible.